Good afternoon. I'm Katie Moore, live in Kenner. We're now finding out what exactly caused an incident this morning that sent 17 police officers and a police dog to East Jefferson General Medical Center for treatment. Apparently, there was a substance on an 18-wheeler. And right now, Trooper Lewis Collado with the state police is going to tell us exactly what that substance is. Tell us <laughs> what the latest is. Well, the latest is this. Uh, our hazmat uh, guys just came out. They've done an analysis of the trailer itself. Through the analysis of what they found in the trailer, they have found that the trailer did contain uh, pesticides, also cocaine. And when we deal with the pesticides, that is what has affected our officers, and that's what has irritated them and made them feel nauseous. So that's what they were being uh, transported to the hospital for. I'm glad to tell everyone and family members and, and, and our citizens that all the officers are okay. They have been released, and they will be returning back to duty. The pesticides, were those on the limes that were contained in that cargo, or was that part of the drugs that you all found? Well, the pesticides was commingled within the limes, um, and you know there are more analysis that's going to be performed, but the cargo consisted of limes itself. In the lines, we found cocaine. We also found uh, some pesticides within within the, the cargo itself. Any idea how much cocaine you found in there? Uh, that's to be determined still. We have not unloaded the rest of the cargo as of yet. Uh, as soon as we have that, of course, we will be getting that out to the public as soon as we can. How much have you found so far? I'm sorry? How much cocaine have you found so far? We do not know. Uh, I don't want to speculate. They haven't even opened the boxes yet. The main concern was finding out what was making our officers sick why they were in a hospital so they could be, if they needed to be treated and they needed special treatment, they would get it. Uh, thankfully, it was something that was minute, was not going to affect them long term. They have been released. And like I said, this is, this is an ongoing investigation. We'll have more information. And when, it, you know, when we have it, we'll definitely get it out to the public. What, what, kind, of, what kind of pesticide are we looking at? And, and again, what kind of charges are the driver and possibly the passenger facing? Well, what we know right now, it, it, it is a pesticide that has been, that has been confirmed. The specific chemical makeup has not been given to us as of yet. I think further tests need to be done and it broken down to get a confirmation of the specific ingredients that might be involved in it, but that will come uh, in the future when we have it. And what about the driver? They're, they're, uh, both the passenger and the driver will be charged with uh, possession with the intent to distribute uh, cocaine. And they were coming from where and going to? Well, you know, that's another thing that we really don't have all, you know, this is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we're, we're still interviewing. We're still doing uh, uh, all of our physical data, getting all of our evidence uh, locked down and secured. And that information will come. But there will be some information that we will not be able to reveal due to the ongoing investigation and the actual case itself. Exactly why they were pulled over. I'm sorry? Why exactly. were they pulled, they pulled over? over? They, are, they were actually pulled over. They were doing a... Um, Basically, a, a routine check on uh, on the uh, on the trailer and truck itself. We have personnel out there that do uh, what we call mixap certifications. They look for 18 wheelers on the roadway that could be posing a uh, a hazard to the motoring public. And apparently, there was some type of indicator that chose uh, this trooper chose to make a stop on and investigate. And then investigation turned into the criminal activity that we're here doing today. Do you guys think it is a truck out of Texas, as the license plates indicate? Uh, once again, that's through the ongoing investigation. I really wish not to comment on that at this time. So no one has any permanent health problems because of the pesticide that was found. And have you guys ever had an experience like this? Uh, to my knowledge, I'm, I'm really not sure if it's there or not. Uh, as far as has it ever been done before, um, that's something that we can definitely look into and get back to you with further information on that. Uh, but. The main thing that we're concerned, that we're glad about, is that all of our officers are safe. They're all fine. They'll all be returning to their homes and their families and their children. Thank you.